Hey, how's it going YouTube? This is Spearfield7 bringing you a quick little mini rant video. There's something I just need to talk about with NBA 2K18. I really dislike the way they nickel and dime you in this game. And I ain't just talking about VC, I'm talking about the, the character builds, man. What I really liked about NBA 2K16 was that if you could make the play, you could get the badge for it. You could earn the badge for it. If you're the police, where are your badges? Badges? We ain't got no badges. We don't need no badges. I don't have to show you any stinking badges. This whole archetype system, while it's kind of an interesting concept, I do think it's really, really significantly broken and is hurting the overall experience of the game. Like when I was playing 2K16, I had a small forward. I had 42 badges in that game. I had more badges in that game than LeBron James has in 2K18. Basically my biggest gripe in the game is this whole negated play situation that just really drives me up a wall. It's the dumbest thing in the freaking game. In my first season, I made it to the playoffs with the T-Wolves. We pit, played the Pelicans in the first round. We're out here with Boogie and Anthony Davis, the Twin Towers. And any time I dunked on Anthony Davis, it basically negated my posterizer, which let's, let's look at the dictionary definition of negate, shall we? So negate is a verb. It means to nullify make ineffective, to make a clause, sentence, or proposition negative in meaning, or to deny the existence of something. And so I get really frustrated when you make a really tremendous play in this game, and it's as if it never happened. Like, negation sort of suggests that the, the, sh the stuff never happened. Nobody saw that. It's like, this is on TNT, this is on national TV, my man. Ernie Johnson saw that, Shaq saw that, Kenny Smith saw that, your grandma saw that, your best friend saw that, your neighbor saw that. Like, it happened, okay? Like, we don't need to have these stupid things. It's like a bunch of old men playing golf and they're just like, I'm gonna call a mulligan on that. I'm, I'm gonna call a do-over. In a game that has such a hard grind to 99 overall, where you have to fight tooth and nail to rank up your player. And I've noticed, like, going from 89 to 90 is just the slowest experience ever. I'm at, like, 60% on my second level cap break. So, I'm gonna be 90 overall eventually, but the grind is so real. And when you have these moments in these games where the game tells you you're not going to get credit for that because of the player that you're playing makes absolutely zero sense to me. I mean, just look at our man Superman. Like, when you bring out the kryptonite, he's going to have a pretty bad day. Even Superman, even the Man of Steel, even the greatest superhero of all time is going to have a bad day if you find his Achilles heel, if you find his weakness. So I don't understand why your character is limited from getting better, from advancing your character to a, to a higher level or to a better level. It's like this game ain't League of Legends, dog. This ain't Skyrim either. This does not need to be an RPG experience. Like, this is a video game where you're a basketball player and you're trying to do your best. I don't understand why your ability affects my play because as we all know, this stuff happened. I dunked on Lonzo Ball so hard, his dad's nutsack like had a flashback to before Lonzo was born and ached for like five days. But I just had to make this video because the whole negating plays due to who you're playing against shouldn't be a factor in this game. If I did the play, it exists. We're not going to be in some sort of metaphysical space where we're just going to deny reality, you feel me? Like, it happened, get over it, and if you don't like me dunking on your forehead, step your game up, Anthony Davis. But I get it, NBA 2K18 does not want us to be great, ladies and gentlemen. Jimmy Splash isn't supposed to be great. He's just supposed to be an average role player on an NBA squad. Screw that, I'm trying to be a legend out here, bro. And this game ain't letting me do it. The grind to 99 never stops. I've been collecting clips ever since I started playing this year's game. I'm gonna be putting together a montage. It's gonna take me a little bit of time, so please be patient. And I posed a question down in the comments below. Do you guys want me to continue playing Pro-Am or continue doing those neighborhood stories? I love playing with randoms. You just never know what's gonna happen. What kind of load of
might go down. So anyways, just wanted to thank y'all for listening. What is your least favorite element of this game? I'm talking in the, not in the macro, but the micro. What is just the dumbest stuff that you guys are finding in this game? I'd love to hear from you. I'll be back soon with more. Until next time, this is Spearfield7. See y'all later.